What is happening? What's going on, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to Man of Madame. This is part two of the series. We last left so off, we got, uh... The of hold on. Certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball. They got married, this or not married, but they got engaged. Where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Uh, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged. All right. Wait. It froze. There we go. Jeez. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Well, Conrad's drunk off his, mm, you know, his butt. All right. Um, it does have a nice full. A nice ring. I'll stick Honestly, with my own name. I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, gotta be nice. Kind of... You know what I'm talking about? So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans eventually. Uh, deck and foot the bill. Let's now plan it together. Send a middle, baby. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. <laughs> of course. Uh. uh Agreed. Wasn't sure how to respond. Of course. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Let's relax. Let's relax. I love, I love you. All right, get a room. Where did everyone go? We're in the middle of the sea. There's sharks down there. Celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got... Oh, that's Let's right! Let's go get him. Sure. That's right, they were gonna bang bang. <laughs> okay. The Coast Guard's here. Jesus Christ, uh, the Coast Guard's here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. Relax. I'm just getting them now. Everyone relax, all right? They just kiss. That's it. They're fine. That Fliss chick is just... She takes way too, she takes way too much stuff to, like, the seriousness. The seriousness town. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the nice little toasty toast. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna take control of her, huh? Um, I need to get my case. What am I getting? Oh, I, I, oh, I hate this. Thank you. Why'd you do it on the dime? Okay, so where is my case at? Was it? Would it be in here? Nope, get in there. I have to hand it to you. Mopping right here. On the bottom of the ocean like that. Boom. Come on, open it. There we go. Pacific Ocean. Right here. Got it. Is it, no, no one's gonna say anything, huh? We got it, and then they just sit in quietness. What the heck, man? Hello there, sailor. Um, excuse me. Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah. It's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles like <laughs> hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness over here. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. 
telling you to take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. I think we should not do it. Uh, beer club. Uh, let's be cautious. I don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Facts. Check it out. I mean, because you might die. You know, sure no one die from this. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? This guy does. Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination. You think we could get there by tomorrow? We'll give that away. It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, okay, maybe. You should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool Maybe ghost just like, stories. open not Pandora's like box. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story. I guess that makes sense. Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. <clears throat> it was a good show. Uh, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. Supportive. It's been a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away a little. Bit. How messed up? Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll. Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> uh, uh, amused. The woman answers, "I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now." Twist I'm here for a silly goose course. time, you know. Keeper says, that "I want her to be so serious." Of course, he's lived there alone for years, and the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, what? Do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts. Cliche. Yeah, to murder people. Duh. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Giblets. Okay, you should be. You should embellish the facts. So gross. Uh, provo so Let's do disgusted. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it, and he's still here, in the closet. Huh, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer. That's not my husband, dum dum dum. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge what? and screams. <laughs> so gross. Uh, hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice okay. You cool story. Going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. You Who says that? Fun? 
We should all turn Time for sleep, sleep. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regular issues are these? Uh, Was he an alcoholic? Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a way he just made that up. to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. And I'm out. Okay. What's gonna happen? I love the loading times in this game are phenomenal. Oh, things are getting nutty now, huh? What is happening? Is that Conrad? Oh! oh I didn't I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. Boom. Oh, it's a guy from the boat. Oh my gosh. I was I didn't hit the W button. I probably messed everything up. Oh, I'm an idiot. I keep thinking this is like a movie. I'm watching it, you know? Okay. I'm ready for it now. Where's Fliss at? And uh Brad. There's Fliss. Oh yeah, that's the guys from the boat. What a bunch of jerks. What are you gonna do? Like you're gonna kill me? Like relax. Um unsag. Okay. I feel like she would know what what to do. Okay. Let's do him first. Go, we, we're, all, we're all gonna be done first. Boom. All right. All right. Everything's good. Okay, and then Julia. Yep. Yes, sir. Julia, you okay? I think so. Where's uh, Brad at? Hey! Hey! Oh, Fliss, don't die on me, please. Don't die on me. Things are happening so fast. There we go, Julia. Let's go. Okay. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad no news kidding. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh God damn it, Conrad! Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. <laughs> Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. Facts. Just worried about being killed. Untie. Guys, we gotta get untied. Right now. Okay. Hey, they. What are they taking? You're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. 
He sounds really weird. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself. Ooh, Pizza. get him, Fliss. Get him. The lady. Let him know. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. I mean, he did open his big mouth, I guess, huh? Man, let me, on time, let me let me freaking hit you with my back, dude. I'll stab you in your, in your good eye. What do you want? You know what to, how to treat a lady. Serious. What do you fuckers want? Yeah, what do you what do they want? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Uh, please just stop. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. Look like a sacrifice. Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay. You just gotta deal okay. with it, you know? Don't agitate him even more. Oh no. Well, put the scissors down and freaking act like they're tied up. Okay, here we go. Everything's good. I did not see. He's not observing, I guess, huh? Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastard! Okay. Lipstick. Shut the fuck up. Boy, I will fuck you up, hundred percent. They're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? Yeah, where is he at? No, but I'm, I'm sure he's fine. No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Yeah, but where is Brad though? They didn't take him upstairs, so he has to be still here somewhere. Audio, don't do that. They're coming. Who's that guy in the back? Did you see him? Fuck. Got a guy in the hat. Fuckers. See the guy in the hat? Hey, hey. Are you okay? What did he do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. At least you're back, I guess. <clears throat> but that ring was probably expensive, though. <laughs> that's, how I, that's, how my, that's how my brain works. Have to wait and see what they want to do with us. All right. How'd they get on the freaking boat so fast? We didn't even see him pull up or anything. Right. Can you put some clothes on, Alex? I can see running to the boat. We we should just rush him. Oh man, which one do I do? I can sneak around, I guess. You can distract them. I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. 
You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess this up. I can already tell. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I hit it. Conrad, just get to the boat. Yeah, I, told, I told you I was gonna mess, mess this up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Scrap knife. Oh, he didn't get it. I hit it. Oh, I hit ass. I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I fucked this up. I messed it up. You're pretty stupid. I messed it up. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I hit ass instead of W. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Dang it! I'm an idiot. I hate when they have that when they, when they make you just do stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not good with it. Those quick actions. I'm not good with those. No. Arrêtez bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Okay. Olson, come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this? Didn't ask. Okay. I guess I got clothes on now. Where's Duke of Milan? I mean, is something gonna happen here? What's going on? You fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back, and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right. Hey. Shut that everyone, relax. Up. All right. I hit the wrong button. It happens. Uh, we were only talking. Reassuring. There is no harm in. All right, audio. Relax. Keep the boat. I'm just gonna say it. Bliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. It wouldn't make sense. Uh, how dare you? Or isn't it true? I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, so. They do speak French at the same time. I hit S! Man, are you kidding me? I hate these. I hate these. I hate it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. You. Come with me. You. Come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. If you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. How bad's the the storm? Hey. 
just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Um, man, what, what, what do I do? Do I do reassuring or do I just de desperate? I feel like if I would have said anything, she, I would have died. I don't want, I don't want Fliss dying. I would have picked it back up and went, I need help. God, I, I'm not good with this, man. I'm not, I'm really not good with these. These little buttons can't do it. They happen so fast. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna happen again? Probably. Come on now. Yep. Throw out everything you can. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. I'm gonna push them over, I think. Um, help. Here we go. Hey, move it now. Where's Brad? That's it. Like, why don't he? He's here somewhere, but I don't know where. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. But can Can I not hear him? Uh, he might drown. He could help. Optimistic. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. But he couldn't. Oh, but he could. Like, he like, I mean, she there. could. She could drown. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. He could drown, though. That's a huge ship. What in the absolute? Is this boat abandoned? It looks like the the boat from the from the episode one, from those guys. Everyone's ah. alive. Welcome. Things could have been quite different. Good. Where are you going? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Okay. Tempted? Kinda. Uh, what will, what will we, will, what will be, will be, and forewarned is forearmed. I'm curious. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. All right. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. A flask? Why are you gonna hold- why, why are you gonna hide that for? Probably shouldn't have said that. What a weirdo. I think this is probably gonna be episode two. I think we're gonna- we're gonna- I think we're just gonna go until we get back to that guy to talk. That way we can just keep them coming get them saying but all right guys this is episode two of men of madonna if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys do the youtube thing like comment subscribe to your friends as always guys my name is johnny 
and I'll see you in episode three tomorrow.